www.grammar.com. Steph uh, Dwarfs here of uh, Textures. I want to explain you something about a song that we play today, uh, which is called Regenesis. Very cool song. I really like it. Uh, it's a song from our second album, uh, Drawing Circles. Um, you know, the, the, the starting riff. No, I think it's the second riff. That's, that's the one I want to explain it to you. Um, that riff was written by Bart, the guitar player with the, with the long hair. And actually, the riff was uh, written in this kind of way. I can write it down for you. Maybe you recognize it. If you write it down in numbers, like... Oh my god. That's a long list of numbers. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. One two one two three. One two 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 one one. Dun dun. Those numbers don't make any sense, uh, but they only make sense if you have a pulse. Then you know they create a really really great groove. You know, if I count up like this. One two three. Then it sounds really awesome, and that's exactly what Bart did. So give it a backbeat, and it sounds like this. I'm left handed, by the way, so it's uh, like this. This is my hi hat, this is my snare, and my bass drum is totally improvised here on the ground. So. One, two, three, four. The numbers are played with the bass drum, of course, and this is the first, uh, how should I call that, uh, the first edition <laughs> of, of this riff. Um, uh, later in the song, I'm going to improvise with this bunch of numbers that form this riff. And actually the first part, or the first stage to improvise upon this riff, is to maintain the backbeat on the snare, so you constantly have doom, da, 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 on the two and on the four, and the whole pattern on the bass, you play it along with your other hand. In my case, that's the left hand, or the hand that you use on the on the right cymbal, for instance, or on the china here. You know, the backbeat stays the same, and it has a lot of ghost notes. You know, the snare. So there we go. The pattern played on the left hand backbeat on the right hand. Once again, pattern played with the left, backbeat with the right, and also the pattern played with the bass drum. Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four. Sometimes it gives me a kind of salsa feeling actually, like a southern 
American feeling. Uh, the next stage is to also lose or uh, skip the backbeat so everything is filled up with ghost notes and random accents but the pattern stays the same on the left hand and on the bass drum okay that's the third stage okay here we go one two three four Ghost notes are everywhere and accents are everywhere, always on the snare drum. Most of the time I play my hi-hat, I tap my hi-hat just in eight notes or in quarter notes, okay? Like dun 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 And this one, this leg is going with the accents, okay? So we have three stages of playing this beat and three these three stages are kind of representative to a lot of things that we play in textures and I guess also a lot of stuff that also Matt plays, you know, from Periphery today and the guys from Contortionist and Meshuga of course. First play a pattern with a normal backbeat. Then losing yourself a bit into variations, you know, but still maintaining the backbeat and the pattern. And the third stage is totally get, get lost in improvisation, but still maintaining the pattern. That's it. Three stages of regenesis. Thank you.